I find it very difficult to trust. I, I'm the anti-trust guy. I don't trust a fucking thing. I don't trust anyone. I don't trust anything. But, but I'm going to say something now that I think most of you won't know. Classical musicians and the people in the industry, they're such assholes. They keep classical music up here in a little box just for them and just for a certain kind of audience who are well-dressed and educated and wealthy and they can understand it. And it's such bullshit. And the truth is, unless you have money today, your kids aren't going to learn music. They're not going to know who Bach is. The saddest thing is that we know how powerful it is. We all know the impact it has. Classical music is the deepest of the arts and it goes deep beneath the arts. And it's one of those things, it's like it's a language that we don't know that we're all fluent in. It's amazing. And so learning an instrument, even listening to music, is something that I think we need more of in the world in which we live today. That world in which we live today, it seems to worship extroverts. You know, we, we post selfies on Instagram and we are funny or argumentative on Twitter, we poke people on Facebook, we swipe on Tinder, we buy shit we don't need from Amazon, we eat junk food, we, we do so many things looking outside to try and make what's happening inside feel just a little bit better. And I often wonder what would happen if we were all a bit more honest about what was going on in the inside. The way to get in touch with that part of us is to listen and to connect and to celebrate this idea of interiority. That's where Bach and Beethoven, that's the space they inhabited and they created from. All of us today, myself included, we have forgotten how to shut the fuck up and just sit and be still and just be. Things are so fast, we've forgotten how to listen, how to really listen and hear. And I, I want you to trust me when I tell you this. Music is the one thing that when bad things were happening, it literally saved my life. Even today when shit's going wrong, listen to music and everything changes. There is no greater proof for the existence of God than Bach, Beethoven, Prokofiev, Chopin, Liszt, Brahms, Rachmaninoff, Shostakovich, Stravinsky, Schubert, Schumann, Ravel, Debussy, Scriabin, Bartok, Hummel, Haydn, Mozart, Mozart, fucking hell, him on his own. Oh my God. And that is a much, much, much stronger list of things to help us connect to that part of ourselves than trimipramine, fluoxetine, citalopram, olanzapine, lithium, any one of the dozens of medications and drugs that I've taken over the years. And my happiest moments are when I get back to that place, even if it's only for a short time. It's where the magic happens.